Okay, so with an update just falling for the iWork suite of apps on the iPad, Keynote, Numbers and Pages, let's take a look, quick review of what some of those updates look like and how you can use them on your device. Now we'll get started in Numbers, so I'm going to jump into that app now. And I've just kind of started a new document here and added in a few elements, because this is where um, probably one of the most requested updates has probably come from, certainly from teachers that I've spoke to, and that is the ability to link from multiple things. Now, we know we could always add text in and link from that, but now we can link from anything that you can add to the page. So I've added some examples in here. So if I add in a shape, I can add a link into this simply just by tapping on the shape. You'll see that option come up to link. If you're used to using hyperlinks within any of the apps um, from text, you'll know that you can then link to a web page, um, email, phone number, or in this case, a different sheet within the booklet. So this is going to be really, really useful if you're creating kind of um, journeys of learning for students and they need to, you know, click here to go to this page. I can see lots of creativity coming in this. I remember books when I was younger where you chose the story route and everything. And again, really, really nice and easy to do that now within this, uh, within uh, the numbers document. You can equally do that then with drawings. You get the same option. If I tap on the drawing, you'll see that link comes up as that option. Again, pictures that you add in, link is there, and even just simple lines. If you want to add a link, you have the option to add links in. So there's a lot more creativity here that I can really see people starting to explore and play with and, and see the potential for hyperlinks from documents, within documents, etc. Now let's take a look at that within pages as well. So I've just created again a blank book here. Again, I'll show you that I can add in a shape, tap on that shape, and then have that link. So again, those links are still embedded in exactly the same way. And again, in here, um, as before, simply jump to a page by tapping on this. Now, um, I've created lots of books, um, and I've kind of tried to make a workaround for this, and I've hidden text on a shape and all those things now I don't need to do it I can just link directly from the shape um, lots of the, the work I do um, with with uh, a friend of mine Martin Coots we've been creating some books and, and I think this is going to work really really nicely because he uses a lot of icons in the work he does and now that icon can have a meaning and a, and a process it can take you to somewhere else within the book so uh, I know this is definitely going to be something he's going to utilize a lot in his design work uh, when he's doing that definitely check out all the stuff he does by the way uh, so that's adding that in now another thing um, that falls within pages and we'll show you this within keynote as well and that is just a, a subtle change to something before you used to have an item here called um, edit the master page or, or master document now it's just changed to edit page template and this is great because with lots of schools I talk to we talk about them as templates we don't necessarily talk about them as master slides or any of those things it's a template um, and so nothing really has changed within the process of this. The, the the whole setup is the same here, but that subtle change in calling it a template links with how I know schools are starting to use this within their own work. So again, look out for that. That's if, if you're used to changing the master slides, etc. It's now under edit page template in line, I suppose, with how people use it a lot more. And then if I just go to Keynote, just to show you the, the same process here, again, I can link from any of these things. So this is just a text box again. I could link from this. That's always been there. But now again, if I add in those shapes, I can link from that shape. Again, all those options in there within Keynote, how you would use it within Keynote. So again, link to the web page, email, phone number, and then within Keynote, it's linked to a slide. So I can go to different slides, use this quite a lot when you do things like um, app prototyping, etc. Really, really useful for that non-linear kind of presentation that you're creating. So Keynote, you can link to slides. Um, in Pages, you can link to other pages. And in Numbers, you can link to other sheets. So really, really nice range of tools that you can use in there. And then again, just to highlight over here, if I select the slide, it's Edit Slide Layout, not Change Master Slides. But again, when you go into it, you get those same options to create your own template in here. And then obviously what you want to do when you've created that template, if you haven't seen this before, three dots in the top, tap on export, and then you can save it as a keynote theme, which means it will be in your theme picker at the very start when you start a new one. So if I choose this in here, 
you'll see that at the very bottom you have your themes and this is where you can save them for ones that you've created or ones that people have shared with you. So there we go, very quick overview of the updates to iWork um, in June 2021.